Hi guys, welcome to Science in 5. Let's draw some free body diagrams. Diagram 1, we've got a 40 Newton force acting on an object of weight 80 Newtons. Remember, a free body diagram, you're basically mimicking a Cartesian plane. So there is the 40 Newtons going in that direction. And there is the weight of the object which we normally label as FG and there is the normal force which acts whenever there is a surface whenever there is a surface you get a normal force no surface no normal force okay so there are those those are the three forces now let's quickly move to diagram uh, 2 Diagram 2 has got a force acting in two dimensions, so we can draw two versions of the free body diagram. The first version, we don't draw any component, we're going to draw the 60 Newton force and we're going to show that it's acting at 30 degrees and then the weight is going down as usual FG because there is a surface again there is a reaction to the surface called a normal force right and then it's actually a reaction by the surface and then there is a frictional force of 80 newtons rather let's label it as f f okay the second version now is to say instead of drawing the 60 newton force Let's draw the components of this 60 Newton force. You've got the horizontal component, Fx, a vertical component, Fy. You can place in the weight Fg. There's your normal force, Fn. And then the frictional force in that direction. Given a choice, which diagram would I recommend? Diagram, second one, because it makes your calculation fairly easy. Okay, moving on to the third diagram. We can clearly see that again, there's a force acting in 2D. So we have an option of drawing forces with components or the forces without the components. So let's start by drawing like the diagram like this. So there's the uh, 55 Newton force. Okay. And then there's a weight that pulls the object down. And then we're told there's a frictional force going in that direction and then there will be a normal force going up but we have an option we can remove this 55 Newton force and replace it with its components so the components will be horizontal component and vertical component okay that's for number three. For number four, when you've got an inclined plane, always try to mimic the plane itself. So this line that I've drawn is mimicking the um, incline. So it's parallel, somewhat parallel to that axis. Then I draw in the perpendicular axis. So then I fill in these forces. Remember again, draw in the perpendicular forces. It makes the calculation easier. So there I will have FG parallel acting in that direction. Then I'll have the friction present pulling the object in that direction. Then I'll have the perpendicular component of the weight going down. And then to balance the perpendicular component of the weight is the normal force. So that's how you can draw free body diagrams to help you with your calculations. Thanks for watching.